and a warm greetings to Ms. Johanna, as well as Mr. Santosh from QTPI. As you are all aware, Vidyadan has diversified its activities in a way where we can spread education. I think we are exploring a lot more areas rather than directly reaching out to the education sector by even going into the curriculum transaction, by activity-based uh, teaching, aligning ourselves with the new education policy 2020 and so on. So we are indeed happy to share this platform to make us all aware about the artificial uh, intelligence. So as we all, I think I have a slide over here to show you what is uh, artificial intelligence about. So when we spoke about this uh, conference or the seminar, what we can say about easing up with the tool, I think I did see a picture which uh, showed that AI is going to conquer the world. As such, the world has advanced uh, with AI and India is also preparing uh, towards the same. So if you look at the readiness of India, we are, our CBSE curriculum has already integrated uh, AI as an integrating subject across the curriculum, as well as uh, as a subject, as a skill course in the classes from six to the 12th uh, grade as well. So also this Atal Innovation Program that has uh, come up, Atal Labs are being set in the schools. Otherwise the schools are also offering robotic uh, courses uh, as well as provision to as a work experience session. And so in so, uh, so many areas, our schools are going ahead. So at this point of uh, time, I should really thank the QTPI for taking, uh, for sparing us this time to educate us with the basics, especially a topic of this particular significance. So I would like to share about what Vidyadan, before we commence this session, what Vidyadan actually does uh, with the activities and what we intend to do it. So give me a minute to share the video. A nation is advanced in proportion to education and intelligence spread among the masses. Words of Swami Vivekananda. Vidya, according to the Indian philosophy, refers to correct knowledge. The ability to comprehend, reason and apply the acquired knowledge makes an individual to live the life he aspires. Knowledge eliminates mind. Knowledge liberates. Knowledge empowers. Knowledge erases ignorance. Knowledge paves the path towards righteousness. In the words of Savitra Bhai Phule, knowledge is like fire, which must first be kindled by someone, but will afterwards propagate itself. Vidyadhan Foundation is a non-profit organization working towards empowerment of underprivileged children youth and women through education. Vidya Dan Foundation is committed to provide quality education in India and is helping the disadvantaged children realize their full potential and working to inspire the young generation to work for the development of rural students. Also, Vidya Dan through multifarious activities is reaching out to thousands of students across the country to provide quality education through skill development. Aligned with NAP 2020, 
Vidya Dam reaches out to the educators across the country through skill enhancement program encompassing novel teaching methodologies. Vidya Dam has been able to enkindle the minds of students and teachers from colleges and schools through various webinars, panel discussions like education pay charcha, so on and forth. Storytelling pedagogical series have been well accepted by the Tiny Tots, which is mainly intended to nurture creativity and critical thinking. Vidya Dan works with a strong conviction that the different form of art enriches the curriculum and has been imparting knowledge about the rich cultural heritage of India. The positive responses and cooperation from the community motivates Vidya Dan for serving more devoutly for deepening the spread of education. Vidya Dan expresses heartfelt gratitude to all the well-wishers, benefactors and volunteers in supporting the endeavor for the accomplishment of the mission. Together, we can illuminate our country with years of knowledge and happiness in all homes of India. Let no Indian citizen be deprived of quality education. Let me quote Swami Vivekananda, Arise, awake and stop not till the goal is reached. Vidyana invites each one of you to partner for the realization of his vision. Empower underprivileged children, youth and women through education to bring a sustainable change in their lives. Ensure quality education in India and work to help the disadvantaged. Inspire the young generation to work for the development of rural students. Jai. Yes, uh, dear audience, there are many people. Sorry. Yes, dear audience, there are many people who are working behind this uh, venture, and I'm very thankful. Let me extend our gratitude from Vidya Dan Foundation to all the benefactors and all the well-wishers. So with this note, I hand over the platform to Ms. Joanna and Mr. Santosh to carry on with uh, today's session. Thank you once more for being part of this session. Let us have a wonderful, innovative and creative session. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Sanjina Ma'am and the Vidya Dhan Foundation for uh, giving us QDPI the opportunity to uh, showcase what we all like and what we all aim for. Uh, thank you all participants for being here. It's a pleasure and a honor uh, to, uh, to have this session. And I would, uh, I would like to start off by quickly giving you a short introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Joanna, uh, Joanna Archard, and I'm a product engineer at QDPI Robotics. And today's session, as you all know, is, is the upskilling of with ease about AI tools. So I would like to first uh, ask and, and request each of you who are participating here uh, to engage in a very fun and interactive learning experience that we're going to have this evening. So please do turn on your webcams. I request everyone to please turn on your webcams. I notice uh, so many of you have not turned on your webcams. So I request everyone to do turn on your webcams. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're having dinner or if you're eating or uh, whatever, wherever you are, it really doesn't matter. But I request everyone to do turn on your webcams. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Daniela. Thank you. Request everyone to please turn on your webcams. Only then we can make the most of this session by interacting with each other, uh, sharing our knowledge, and really having a fun learning experience. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Minnie, uh, for turning on your webcams. Request everyone to please do turn on your webcams, everyone who's here. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. 
Uh, no worries, you can take a few seconds to turn it on, but do come on uh, with you because uh, it's going to be not just a lecture session, it's going to be an interactive session. We, I will be asking questions and you can ask me questions. Uh, you can definitely have a very uh, verbal communication throughout this entire session. So be lively, be active. I know it's the end of the week, it's end of the uh, end of the day today. We're waiting for the weekend. I uh, just want to relax, but please, uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So make the most of this time. Thank you. Thank you very much, all of you who have uh, turned on your webcams and who are ready for the session. Great. So let's begin. Um, so today's session is aligned with the NEP thought process. I'm sure all of us are aware that this new CBRC curriculum has included the AI, AI courses into the curriculum. Which, uh, which emphasizes on teaching the latest technologies. So definitely uh, today's session as well is aligned with the same NEP thought process. So this is how our, uh, our session is gonna go, go ahead. And we're gonna, first I would like to start off by asking a question, what is AI? Okay, so uh, do feel free to let me know whatever you think it should come up in your mind. So put it in the chat. Those of you who have options to type out the answers in the chat. So please put your answer in the chat and send it out. And those of you who would like to speak, you can raise your virtual arm and I would select your name and then you can, uh, you know, using reactions, you can probably raise your arm or, uh, or you can just unmute and speak. I don't see the options. So yes. Please do let me know what is AI. Okay, we've got one answer come in. It says artificial intelligence. Okay, are you sure it's artificial intelligence and not alien invasion? <laughs> Where, you know, I think artificial intelligence is pretty much like alien invasion. Okay, wait, uh, we have a one arm which is raised. Uh, Miss Amitha, thank you, ma'am. Please unmute and uh, tell me what do you think AI is all about? Uh, feeding all the instructions uh, to a computer, a uh, step-by-step to perform an action. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for that answer. Thank you for responding. Thank you. Anyone else would like to tell me, what do you think AI is? Please respond. Wow, we go one, one more answer, Ms. Anjana. Yes, please, ma'am. Is it uh, machines going yes. to work, walk like human beings? Great answer, Ms. Uh, yes, actually, I was telling, going to tell that giving machine human intelligence. Very good answer, Ms. Anjana. That's a nice answer. Yes, Mr. Dan uh, Danila. Yeah. Machine, machine learning. Machine learning. Wow. Absolutely right. That's that's good answers. Good answers coming in. Uh, I've seen a few responses in the chat, but great answers coming in. Thank you all for responding to my question. Absolutely right. I think every one of you have given me a small part of what you think AI is all about. And I, every one of you are absolutely correct. You know, artificial intelligence, AI stands for artificial intelligence. And it is basically, we're all familiar with us human beings having natural intelligence, right? We have, we are naturally intelligent. We are the natural intelligent species compared to all other species, animal species or other species in the world. So when, when a machine or a computer, you know, when a computer can make decisions, can study its surrounding atmosphere, can study the, uh, the temperature, it can study the, uh, it can view things, it can have eyes to see things. And when it can recognize things, when it does everything without being programmed, without a single line of code, programming the computer to recognize these things, then that is when the machine actually gets AI. When it can uh, study its surroundings, make predictions, and understand things, recognize music, recognize tunes, and visualize images by recognizing things. All of that comes in AI, okay? So that's when a, when a machine is acting like a human being, studying, having intelligence of its own, then it's called AI. Great, great answers, everybody. Uh, 
That's absolutely right. So to get a little bit more of taste of what this AI is, like many of you did say, when we hear the word AI, we think of machine learning, artificial intelligence, you know, things that we think um, that only computer science engineers need to know about, or they are the ones who are qualified to be capable of working with and understanding. But today, what I'm going to introduce to you is that you know, we all, all of us, no matter what speciality or background we come from, if you're a great expert English teacher or if you're a great expert art, art teacher, you know, it absolutely does not matter. You and I can all of us interact with AI. And that's what we're going to see today. We're going to see how each of us can work with AI tools without using a single line of code, zero code. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about. That's what I'm going to show you today. And this is how uh, the session is going to go uh, uh, play out. We're going to start off with an introduction to AI. Then we're going to do some exercising, okay? Exercising our right brains. And then I'm going to introduce you to two AI-based tools. And then finally, I'll open up the session for feedback. Okay, so this is how uh, the session is going to ro uh, roll out. And starting off with uh, the first, um, first uh, foreplay of how things are in this NEP thought process, right? This is CBSE curriculum handbook that I mentioned earlier. They emphasize or their pattern in which they follow is they follow these four main steps, all right? They, uh, they have created their entire syllabus based on these four steps. And you will notice that our presentation today is also going to be following the same four steps. First, we have something with excite, relate, purpose, and possibilities. So let's begin. Without any further ado, what we're going to have fun. So the first activity is something exciting. I hope everybody is ready for some exciting, fun activity today. And, and my question to you is, how many of you, OK, I'd like you to please, please, please respond in the chat. Tell me if you like to draw. How many of you honestly, okay, honestly tell me if you like to draw. If you do like to draw, say yes in the chat. If you do not like to draw, say no. That's it, as simple as that. And it's completely all right to say be frank and honest. If you don't like to draw, you can say no, I don't like to draw. If you do like to draw, then you can say yes. Okay, we've got a few answers and there, yes, so far. That's okay, that's good. Any others would like to participate? I mean, we have quite a few of us here in this, in this uh, meeting tonight. So I request everyone to please be active or you miss out. Okay, if you if you're hesitant to put your message in the chat, you can always raise your arm to tell me if you'd like to draw or not. Okay. Okay, no worries, we will figure out slowly. Okay, we'll figure out slowly if um, you like to draw or not. Okay, that's great. Uh, so like all of us are aware that the cerebrum of our brain is divided into two hemispheres, right? The left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. The left hemisphere is known for its logistic thinking, problem solving skills, and the right hemisphere is known for creativity, poetry, music, arts, all of that. So today we're gonna to be exercising our right set of brain, which is drawing, okay? So I request every one of you, those of you who said you do like to draw and those of you who think you're, you do not like to draw, to quickly grab a pencil and a paper or a pen and a paper, whatever you can find. So please do this activity. I promise you it will make a difference. So please, uh, I request every one of you, please do um, participate in this activity, it might, it will definitely um, brighten up your day, I hope. And it will add a new skill into all of your many different skills, your skill set. Okay, so please do uh, uh, grab your uh, pe pencil and paper. And when you're ready with your pe pencil and paper, do let me know that you're ready so I don't have to wait. Uh, so you can just say you're ready in the chat so that I know everybody's ready. Are you ready? Great. Okay, you can give me a thumbs up too. Thank you. All right. Okay, great. Nice to see the thumbs up. Awesome. Great. 
Okay, I hope everyone has paper and good, very good, very good. Okay, great. I see a few, lots more thumbs coming up. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Now, this activity is going to be conducted by an international speaker and a, and a speaker coach who is called Mr. Gramshaw. His name is Mr. Gramshaw and he will be uh, and he will be walking you through the fun activity that we're going to go through now. He emphasizes visual learning. And I'm sure all of us principals and teachers here can 100% agree how important visual learning can be for students and everybody, right? And even for ourselves. So, so let's, uh, what Mr. Graham Shaw emphasizes is particularly when it comes to drawing cartoons. So... I'm gonna quickly play a video for you. And while the video is being played, I would like everyone to please pay attention to the video and follow along with Mr. Graham Shaw's instructions. So he will be instructing you to perform a task and I request everyone to please follow along the instructions. Even if your webcams are not turned on, please do uh, participate in this activity and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Okay. So here's how it's going to work. I'll show you the first cartoon we're going to do. So just watch to begin with. Here we go. Just watching. That's going to be our first cartoon. It's a character called Spike. So I'd like you to draw along with me. So I'll draw the first line, you draw, and when you've done that, look up, and I know you're ready for the next line. Okay. Here we go. Start with the nose. Now the eyes, they're like 66s or speech marks. That's it. Next, the mouth. Nice big smile. Now, over here, the ear. Next, some spiky hair. Next, put the pen to the left of the mouth. Little line like that. Pen under the ear. Drop a line like that. Pen to the left of the neck. Top of the t-shirt. Line to the left. Line to the right. Just hold your drawings up and show everyone. How we all Yes, so now it's time for everyone to please hold your drawings up and show off your creativity. Wow, well done, Mr. Daniela. Very nice. Very nice, Mr. Vinod. Well done. Yes, Anjana, ma'am, very nice. Shivati, very nice, ma'am. Mamta, ma'am, excellent. Those of you who have not turned on your video so far, I request you to please do turn it on now and at least show us the drawing that you have just drawn. Very, very good. Beautiful, beautiful. Looks like tonight we have not just teachers, but a lot of artists in our midst. Look at that. Great job, everybody. Congratulations. Well done. Very, very beautiful drawings. Excellent, excellent. Bravo, very good. Okay, congratulations on creating maybe your first cartoon character you've ever drawn. So good for you, excellent. And I would request you to please, now when you've drawn something so beautiful, you have to give it a name. So please do give your cartoon character a name and let us know what the name of your cartoon character is in the chat. So tell us the name of your cartoon character in the chat. And I hope, I know most of you did say that you like drawing, but those of you who said, who might be assuming that they do not like drawing, I hope every one of you, I hope that activity was something that could change your mind and made you enjoy it. Ben, we have someone's name coming. Ben, Nick. Wow. So the, the two cartoon characters been born, Mr. Ben and Mr. Nick. Lovely. Others, you don't have to tell us the name if you don't want to, but I hope you've given your cartoon character a name. Mr. Spike, lovely. Great, great answers. Very, very good. 
Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead with our next drawing. So please do continue to listen to Mr. Gramshaw. Thank you. Doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. So, it looks like you've just learned to draw one cartoon, but you've actually learned more than that. You've learned a sequence that would enable you to draw hundreds and thousands of different cartoons, because we're just going to do little variations on that sequence. Have a go at this. Draw along with me. Nose. Eyes. Smile. That's it. Now some hair. Pen to the left of the mouth. Under the hair. A little V shape for the top. Line to the left. Line to the right. All right, it's time to show off your second cartoon character and do give her a name as well and let her let us know. Wow, Miss Pooja, very nice. Mom Tamam, well done once again. <laughs> very nice, Mr. Daniela and Vinod sir, very good. Amrita Ma'am, lovely. Excellent. Excellent. Very, very good, everyone. Srivasthi ma'am, very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, excellent. Uh, thank you, thank you all for, uh, for participating and for drawing out those cartoons. And I'm sure you're curious to find out what's next because uh, you thought you were here for an AI session, but it looks like you're getting an arts class. So, yeah. So, great. I hope you enjoyed it. Because we, what we saw from the video with Mr. Gramshaw is using a few visual tricks, right? A few simple modifications to our first drawing that we drew. We were able to create a very different cartoon, a completely different character with just small modifications. So that's how easy you can learn and pick up some a skill that maybe you have thought that you've never had before. So very good. Uh, go ahead and use this new skill that you've all learned today, maybe in your next classroom or with your next presentation. All right, uh, congratulations, everybody. Now, now we're gonna switch from uh, drawing and from what we've learned from Mr. Gramshaw by visual learning, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna move to the next step. We're gonna see how we're gonna relate and the purpose, the, pu the, different pu the purpose of why we're learning this, right? So uh, we're gonna switch to AI and we are going to, uh, we're gonna see how AI can, can co-create and work with us. So here, the word co-create, I'm using the word co-create. So can you tell me, uh, I'd like to know what everybody thinks of what the word co-create actually means. So here I said AI works as a co-creator. So can you tell me, what do you think the word co-creator means? Do let me know, you can unmute and speak if you wish. You can put your answers in the chat. Um, it's completely fine. So do let me know what, you, it's, there is no right or wrong answers. So what do you think the word co-creator actually means? Creating something new together. Great answer. Great answer, ma'am. Creating something new together. Any other answers? Okay. Excellent. Um, Great, absolutely right. Uh, just like what ma'am had said, uh, it is creating something new together with AI. So here, when two or three individuals or two or three participants share their ideas, their thoughts, or create something together is what co-creation is. So here we're gonna see a watch a video, which will tell you about the tool called AutoDraw. This tool will act as a co-creator with us and help us draw anything fast. Uh, 
So while I play this video, I request everyone to experience and a demonstration of this tool. So I request everyone to do pay keen attention to the video. Think about all the stuff you can do on your phone. You can get directions, translate stuff, make movies, you can check your pulse, start your car, see Earth from outer space, power a satellite. No, really, your phone has enough power to put a man on the moon. Now, use your phone to draw a moon. Exactly. Your phone can help you do anything fast, it just can't help you draw something simple fast. Think about it. If you're not a designer and you want to make a quick party flyer, where do you even go for that? You'd probably have to download some app or buy a design program. So a few of us at Google created AutoDraw. It's a drawing tool for the rest of us. AutoDraw pairs the magic of machine learning with drawings from talented artists to help you draw stuff fast. Say you want to make your friend a poster for her birthday. You'd go to the AutoDraw site from your phone or computer, and you'd start doodling something that sort of looks like a cake. The AutoDraw suggestion tool then guesses your doodle, and you pick a cake you like. And you can do this with all kinds of drawings. Flowers. Dolphins, socks, furniture for a new living room layout, a bike for an event poster, a giraffe on a house in the sky for no good reason. You could make a coloring book. And your aunt can sketch out her weird dreams. You can also draw without the help of the AutoDraw suggestion tool. So you can doodle in meetings, play tic-tac-toe, sketch a stranger at a bus stop, yada yada yada. With AutoDraw, there's nothing to download, nothing to buy, and it works anywhere. It works on your phone, your computer, your old laptop, your new laptop, dusty desktops, and fancy tablets. So no matter who you are or where you are, with AutoDraw you can draw anything fast. AutoDraw, fast drawing for everyone. All right, I hope everyone was able to uh, watch the video and have understood something from the video. So can you quickly, any one of you could tell me what was your observation from the video? What did you understand the auto draw tool? How does it work? Anyone? Please feel free to unmute and speak. Uh, the tool understands what we are going to uh, draw, means it interprets. Absolutely correct. Uh, great answer, Ms. Srivansha, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Daniela. Great. Uh, okay, so here's a look at the tool itself. So uh, I, will, I will give you a short demonstration of the tool working, and then I will share the link with everyone so everyone gets a hands-on experience with this tool. So when I share the link with you, it will look something like this. You will need to click on the Start Drawing to begin. And now you can start drawing absolutely anything. So I'm just going to, I'm pretty bad at drawing. So I'm going to draw something. You can go ahead and try to guess what I'm trying to draw. And you can unmute and try to scream out what you think it is. It's a van. <laughs> it's a van, okay. Car. Car, okay, that is. The right answer, I was drawing a car. Good answer. Yes, it is a car. I was just trying to draw a car, but as you can see, it looks more like a truck or a bus or something huge, right? Uh, and, and you can see, right? Binoculars, a fire truck, or you, know, you can choose whatever they're trying to show you. So they did guess I was trying to draw a bus. So these are different, it could be a, a top view of a car, a F1 racing car, but I was actually just trying to draw a simple car, you know, just a simple outline of a car. So this is probably what I was trying to draw. And this is the image that I'm looking for. But as you can see, the AI tool for every stroke that I make on the screen, it makes a prediction. It tries to guess and it will give you suggestions, assuming what you're trying to draw. So this is how the tool works. Now that you've got the image that you want. So I, I like this car and I like the drawing of it, the how it looks. So I'm gonna use the selection tool here above and I'm gonna resize it to whatever size I want. 
So for me, I think this size is great. I'm gonna place it anywhere on the screen by using the selection tool, you can do that. Once you draw something, I know everyone loves to color and add some colors to it. So if you hover your mouse over the blue dot on the left, you can choose any color of your choice. My favorite is red, so I'm selecting red using the bucket tool to fill up the color. So I've, I have a red car right here, which has black wheels and some headlights. All right, so I've got my car structure. Uh, and now this is the auto draw pencil tool, the sparkly tool, which you use to draw anything and it will, uh, it will start guessing. All right, so right now I'm gonna draw something else. And you can use this tool in your presentations when explaining topics in your class. So if you're, uh, if you're a teacher of, um, of maths, you can use this tool to explain shapes, to explain different concepts. If you're an English teacher, you're teaching first standard students, you can teach them something like this. Let me draw some things. I'm trying to draw, can you guess? Okay, auto draw tool is faster than you. Okay, I was drawing a traffic light. Traffic light. Oh. Yes, <laughs> I was drawing a traffic light and that's, uh, this is what I was looking for. Yeah, you can draw a traffic light and you can teach children about the different colors of a traffic light, right? So you can uh, teach them what is red, what is red stand for, what is any color, you can just choose. So I'm going to use the fill tool and select red and green. Okay, great. So now we have our road, we have our uh, traffic light, we can teach the children anything. You can add your own text using the text tool. Okay, traffic light, great. So this is what the tool is. You can do a lot of things with this tool. You can design it, you can use it. You can even use it if you're a biology teacher to, to draw a brain, draw a heart. Lots of things you can draw using this tool. Now it's your turn to try this out. But before that, I want you to go ahead and click on the three lines at the top left-hand side corner. And here you will see the share option. Just click on share. And once you've finished your drawing, I'd like you to share it with us so we all get to see what you've done, okay? So you get a copy link button below what your drawing is. So click on this copy link, come to the chat and just send us the link here in the chat, all right? So um, I'm, sharing the, uh, I'm sharing it with you. The link, yes. So Ms. Presley has sent you the link in the chat. Please do click on the link and try it out. Everyone, I request you to please Try out this auto draw tool. And I said, here are some suggestions. So if you're stuck and you're like, I do not know what to draw, here are a few suggestions. So you can try, if you're a brave and uh, uh, adventurous person, you can try drawing an Iron Man mask. Looks quite tough but go for it. And uh, you can draw a dolphin, you can draw a swan, you can draw a fish, or maybe you can draw a car, a cat if you like. Go ahead and try out uh, whatever you wish and draw, uh, draw this using the tool, auto draw. And you can also let us know, as soon as you're done, you can add some color to it. And you don't have to draw too many things, even if you've drawn just one thing, please do, um, yeah, please do, Please do try it out and share the link with us. I will be sending the link once again in the chat for everybody if you've missed it. So please do click on the link and everybody draw anything that comes to your mind. And once you're finished, um, please share the link with us so we all get to see what you've done. We give you a few minutes now. And if you need any help, like you're not sure how to draw what tool, what pencil to use, how to color. If you have any kind of questions related to the tool, please do feel free to ask. We're here to help. I am waiting for responses. So please do share a link when you're done.
Great, we have a link. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly share uh, what Mr. Dana uh, Danala has done. Let me share my screen. Wonderful, excellent, sir. So here it is. This is what Mr. Danala has done. A lovely spaceship, beautifully colored, very good. Well done, sir, thank you. Good job. Anyone else who'd like to show us what you have done? What's on your mind and what have you done with the help of the AI tool? So using the AI tool, what have you drawn? So please do share your links and we would love to. Um, yeah, you can send, uh, if you're not able to uh, message, you can send me the message directly. My name is Joanna Archer. So in the user list, you can chat click on chat and you can send it to me directly if you're not able to post it in the main group. So if you're unable to share your link in the entire group, do send it to me personally and I will be able to open it up and share it with everybody to show you what you've done. Okay, great, I got another link coming. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Benoit. I shall address you as Benoit from here forth. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is Sunila. This is Miss Sunila's drawing. Please forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong, incorrectly. Uh, you can always correct me. You can unmute and tell me if I'm saying it wrong. So, ma'am, ma my name is Sunila. C U N I L A. Sunila, right? Yes. Thank you, Miss Sunila. Beautiful drawing, a lovely fish with the beautiful Thank bubbles. You, you can add Thank some you. color to it. It would look great. Okay, Miss Mamta has this beautiful drawing. Wow, amazing. Her village with a lovely hut and a door and everything. Looks perfect. Mr. Vinod. Amazing, a beautiful deer and a fish. Lovely, two things at one shot. Great go, sir, very good, well done. Okay, thank you all for sharing uh, your responses. I hope others, those of you who've not sent me your links, uh, I hope you've tried it out and I'm sorry I didn't get an opportunity to uh, probably see everybody's link. If I've missed someone's link by accident, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, so yeah. Now, uh, moving on, I'm going to play another video for you. And I request you to please pay attention to this video because immediately after I play the video, I will be asking questions. So here's a short video I request you to pay attention to. AI is going to impact many, many fields. And I wanna give you a couple of examples today. Healthcare is one of the most important fields AI is gonna transform. Last year, we announced our work on diabetic retinopathy, which is a leading cause of blindness, and we use deep learning to help doctors diagnose it earlier. And we've been running field trials since then at Aravind and Sankara hospitals in India, and the field trials are going really well. We are bringing expert diagnosis to places where trained doctors are scarce. It turned out, using the same retinal scans, there were things which humans quite didn't know to look for, but our AI systems offered more insights. Your same eye scan turns out holds information with which we can predict the five-year risk of you having an adverse cardiovascular event, heart attack or strokes. So to me, the interesting thing is that, you know, more than what doctors could find in these eye scans, the machine learning systems offered newer insights. This could be the basis for a new non-invasive way to detect uh, cardiovascular risk. Sophia. 
I believe I am Sophia. This is Sophia the robot taking her first steps. She's even got some sweet dance moves up her sleeve. Her skin, called Frubber, helps her look lifelike and have human expressions. She can blink, turn her head and smile, but she has over 60 different facial expressions. Tell me what it was like to take your first steps. I'm really excited. A little disoriented, but really excited. Great, I hope everyone paid attention to the video and now you're ready for my questions. So, can you name a few robots that you have seen from the video? Please let us know. You can message me directly in the chat. Tell me the names of the robots that you have seen in the, uh, in the uh, video. Sophie? Sophia the robot, great. Sophie. Yeah, that's right. Sophia the robot. Spot. Spot. Spots. Spot. Excellent. Yes, spots. Good. Anyone else? Okay. Great. Uh, okay, here's your next question. We have a next question. And this person says, Applications of AI, okay? And there are four options here. Gaming, intelligent robots, expert systems, and all of the above. I would like every one of you, please, please, please do uh, share what answer you think is the correct answer to this. Select option A. If it's A, you can put A in the chat. You can send me A or you can send me which alphabet you think is the right answer. Is it A, B, C, or D? Let me know in the chat. Send it out across. Tell me, what do you think is the right answer to this question? Applications of AI. Are, is gaming, intelligent robots, expert systems, or all three of them applications of AI? Great, great to see a good response coming in. I have um, many who, who, who have sent me uh, option D as the right answer. Okay, okay. Great, great, excellent. So if you say option D, then you might definitely have examples of some of the uh, you've, things you've used, right? Excellent, you can let me know what they are in the chat. Give me some examples of the applications of AI when it comes to gaming, intelligent robots, expert systems, do let me know in the chat. And I can read it out if you, uh, if you do send it to me. Great, let me walk you through uh, some of the applications that I can guide you or uh, let you know about. So uh, when it comes to gaming, absolutely right. Everybody gave me the right answer. It is the correct answer is option D. Even if you've selected option A, B, it's absolutely right because all of these are applications of AI. In gaming, we definitely use AI in games. If you have played chess before with a computer, it is an AI bot that you're interacting with and you're playing with. If you played PUBG or if you're children of, uh, or you've seen people play PUBG, the bot used in the game PUBG is an AI bot. There are many other games that involve artificial intelligence. And, uh, and it is definitely an application of AI. When it comes to expert systems, we've seen how healthcare um, is a definitely a use of AI, right? We have expert systems for diagnosis, for uh, helping uh, doctors while uh, operations are being conducted after a operation is done. The AI bot will be studying the patient. In case of readmission of the patient, the AI bot will recognize this pattern in the behavior of the patient and alert the doctor, saving lives and saving uh, saving humanity, right? It's definitely really, really helpful. So it gives you uh, helpful advice and uh, constant alertness and expert advice to uh, the human uh, assistants, human experts. Great. So that is another example of um, expert systems. If you can come up with other examples and let me know in the chat, that would be amazing. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, Mr. Binoy Joseph says, finding bad apples and good apples and separating it for, for a market marketplace. Excellent, good. That could come under intelligent robots, right? They know they can recognize things, they study a pattern and then they can do according to it. We Another great example is intelligent robots, something that we all might even, some of us might have at our homes where we have a smart vacuum, like, you know, a rumba, it's a, which cleans the entire house by avoiding the uh, furniture in your house. That's an intelligent robot, a very basic and simple fun one. Okay, great answers, everybody. Uh, moving to my next question. Here's another question. Do you consider these applications of AI? Now, option A, vision systems, option B, speech recognition, option C, handwriting recognition, and option D, all of the above. Which one do you think is the right answer? Please do let me know in the chat. You can send me a chat privately or you can uh, post it in the group. Okay, we got some few answers coming in. Request everyone to please do participate and let me know what you think is the right answer to this question. If you know some of the examples of such uh, applications, do let us know what those examples are. I'm sure all of us uh, can definitely, definitely give us examples for some of the topics mentioned here. So great, great uh, responses. I have uh, lots of answers coming in. Here again, many of you say option D, some of you say option B and C. Great, some of you have even given me an example. Ms. Sanjana Ma'am says, uh, Siri, Alexa for speech recognition. Good, very good. Thank you so much for giving examples. Well done. Uh, yeah, do, do keep sending me more examples as, you, as we go along. Thank you for responding to my question. Yes, absolutely right. All of the answers, even if you've selected any option between A, B, C, or D, all of them are the right answer because each one of them are applications of AI. When it comes to vision system, as we saw from the video, self-driving cars, right? Tesla cars, they all have AI. So that is vision system. They can visualize, see things, and act accordingly. Great. That's a great example uh, for... Um, for vision system speech recognition, like Ms. Sanjana mentioned, Siri, Alexa, great, uh, great examples. And yes, great, good, good examples. Google, Assist, uh, Google Assistant, we have many more. So, okay, those are, uh, those are uh, the examples for speech recognition. Moving on to handwriting recognition. Anyone knows if you selected ABC or Anything, can you give me an example for handwriting recognition? That'd be great. Um, okay, we have Mr. Vinod says, Cortana, Cortana, I hope I'm saying it right. Great, great, great answer, yes. Uh, and we also have a one which is very famous, I think all of us can relate and understand, which is Google Lens. I think you're more familiar with Google Lens. Because if you use Google Lens, you can just hover your camera over a handwritten text and it will convert the text to digital editable text. So that is a great example for handwriting recognition tool. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you all for uh, participating and responding to uh, my questions. Now I'm going to move forward into looking at the vast possibilities of AI. And here is another tool that I mentioned I would talk to you about, which is called Quick Draw. This is a really fun and interesting tool. I'm going to play a short video demonstration of how this tool works. And immediately after the tool, uh, video, we will be having a quick demonstration and you will get to have hands-on with this tool. So once again, I request everyone to please pay attention to the video as it's being played. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jonas. Hi, I'm Henry. QuickDraw is a game a few of us at Google made. You draw and the computer uses machine learning to guess what you're drawing. I see square, or suitcase, or canoe. Oh, I know, it's shoe. It's an experiment that uses some of the same technologies that helps Google Translate recognize your handwriting. To understand handwriting or drawings, you don't just look at what the person drew, you look at how they actually drew it. Which strokes did they make first? 
Which direction did they draw them in? We train the computer on millions of characters from hundreds of languages. And over time, it learns whether you wrote look or whether you wrote book. Training is a big part of how the computer can guess your drawings correctly. As people, it's easy for us to look at these three drawings and know they're all cats. But to a computer, they're very different. One is just a head, one has a full body, and one is just facial features. To get the computer to understand, you have to show it a lot of cat doodles. And then it starts to see patterns, like that almost all doodles of cats have pointy ears, small nose, and whiskers. Of course, it doesn't always work. That's because it's only seen a few thousand doodles. But the more you play with it, the more it will learn, and the better it will get at guessing. Oh, I know. It's cat. We put it on the web for anyone to play with. We hope it inspires other people to think about fun ways to use machine learning. You can play it at g.co slash AI experiments. Okay, I'm sure all of you are excited to get hands on with this tool. So without any further ado, I'll let me quickly walk you through the demonstration of this tool. It's a great tool. I know you've been teaching students and children or for a long time. Now let's go ahead and teach the AI to recognize patterns, to recognize doodles, to recognize human um, things that we use on a daily basis. So when I share this link with you, it's going to look something like this. What you will need to do is you will need to click on the button that says, let's draw. And this is what it is. It's a game that has six different drawings and you will have it will tell you what you're supposed to draw. So I'm supposed to draw a school bus under 20 seconds. Okay, so click on got it. And now you got to start drawing. As you are- I see circle aware, or eyeglasses or bow tie or sunglasses. I see blueberry. I see bicycle or motorbike or fire truck or van. I see car or truck or bus or pickup truck. Sorry, I couldn't guess it. Oh no. The AI, you notice every time I, I drew a line on the screen or a stroke on the screen, um, it guessed every moment what I was trying to draw. It made a prediction and it kept learning from what I was trying to show it. And in the end, it couldn't guess what I was trying to draw. Now I'm supposed to draw a castle. Oh man, that's tough. Let me try my best. I see line, or skyscraper, or door. I see candle. I see fence. Oh, I know, it's castle. Not bad. Okay, a sweater. I see line, or ocean. Oh, I know, it's sweater. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> a cell phone. I see square or triangle, or bread, or door. I see toe, or oven, or telephone. Oh, I know, it's cell phone. That was fast, a wristwatch. I see circle. Oh, I know, it's wristwatch. That was quite fast. An avocado? I see nose, or potato, or circle, or moon, or necklace. I, like I see water. I see peanut, or backpack, or banana, or planet. Oh, I know, it's avocado. <laughs> okay, great. So this is how the tool works. As you can see, I got most of it right, but then I did get one wrong, the school bus. So if you click on the ones that you've got wrong, then you can see how the AI tool actually works. So this is my drawing. And what the AI tool does is it's comparing what I have drawn with multiple different drawings that thousands of people have drawn before I had attempted to draw this. And according to what I have drawn, it guesses that I'm trying to draw a bus, a fire truck, or a car. So those are the predictions that it made. But there, if I would have drawn something similar to any of these drawings right here, then the AI tool would have been able to guess what my drawing is. Okay, so this is about the school bus. You can go ahead and try this out now. I'm gonna quickly share the link with everybody in the chat. So please do try it out. I want everybody to please try out this link. Uh, go ahead and play the game. And you can also feel free to tell me how much you scored. How many did you get 
right? And how many did you get wrong? And tell me which ones did you get wrong? Why was it tough? Because this tool can actually give you some really, really tough drawings to draw. So go ahead and try out this tool and teach the AI about some objects that we use on a daily basis. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and give it a try. I hope everyone has received the link. And if you have any questions or need help or assistance on how to use this tool, feel free to ask me. Okay, so moving to the next, uh, next thing, as we are coming towards the end of this session, let me quickly summarize everything that we have uh, uh, talked about throughout this session. So during this session, in the beginning of this session, we saw with the help of Mr. Graham Shaw, some really simple visual tricks that we can draw any simple cartoon with, right? And that was a fun learning experience. And after that, we saw with the help of the AI tool called AutoDraw, we can just draw something and the AI tool will make predictions and guess what you're trying to draw and give you suggestions. That's about the AutoDraw tool. The quick draw tool is something that you can train your computer and make them understand different uh, the differences between different shapes and doodles. We also looked at the many different applications of AI and, uh, and what they can do. So yes, that is uh, how uh, we, uh, we finish. And, uh, and now I would like to quickly uh, tell you a little bit more about what, uh, how this can be used. So this AI tool is used in many different places and by many different teachers from different branches. I'd like to quickly play another short, really tiny video that will tell you what this tool is about and how people, how teachers uh, uh, like you have used this in their own classrooms. So uh, please do watch this. It's a really tiny video clip. And uh, yeah, you can ask me questions right after this video is being played. Okay, so from the video, you were able to see that you can use this tool, not just in your presentations in your classroom while you're teaching and conveying the uh, lesson uh, to your students. You can also see that we use this um, in, in your discussions or communication with your own colleagues, or if you're presenting something, you can definitely use this tool to empathize with your, um, 
with your students or with your uh, with your partners, or with your teachers, with your colleagues, with your principals, anyone you can uh, use this tool to brainstorm or to visualize what you're trying to explain because people usually understand better when it's visual. So uh, a few more words about what PewDiePie uh, Robotics is all about. So our company is offering uh, offering a year long course on AI and STEM and uh, robotics for all schools. So uh, for more information, I will be sharing a form link, uh, which I request everyone to please do fill up this form and we will try to get in touch with you. And uh, we're sharing the form. Yeah, the, the link of the form has been shared in the chat. So please do click on this link and fill in your details into this form. Tell us what you like, what you're interested in. We'll uh, try and uh, share information and get in touch with you to help you uh, with that details. So yes, we are of, uh, we at QDPI Robotics are offering coding courses, artificial intelligence, design thinking, robotics, and data science. And to get a sneak peek into what our classrooms look like, uh, here's a here's a short, uh, short and tiny uh, clip of what it is to actually work with uh, QDPI Robotics or uh, partner with QDPI Robotics. <laughs> robotics have one aim and one ambition which is to bring stem education to k12 students in the most fun and amazing way possible so that is our aim and our passion and that is what we do um, at qdpi and um, thank you once again a quick reminder to fill in the form that has been sent out in the chat if you do not fill in the form we will uh, we, we we will not be able to receive the certificate so you will miss receiving a certificate for participating in today's session please do fill up the form and uh, we will uh, share your feedback and thoughts thank you very much if you have any questions, you may feel free to ask, or if you'd like to get to know more about us, we'll be sharing our uh, information uh, in the chat. So you, you can contact us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or uh, Twitter to get to know more about us. Thank you. Back to you, Ms. Uh, Angina, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much for this time and opportunity. Thank you, uh, Ms. Joanna, uh, for uh, spending your valuable time. I should sincerely thank you because generally when we attend a seminar, we do get distracted with uh, something or the other, especially we are so much used to this online kind of a sessions. 
but you kept us on our toes and you made sure that we are so excited <laughs> till the end. So a great compliment uh, from Vidyada and for keeping us on our toes to do these activities. And let me confess uh, that these tools with respect to AI is entirely new to us. We do hear about a lot of AI happening, integration. We have got a handbook from the CBSC as well. But then what you shared today was something new and novel to us. So I'm sure that the participants would agree uh, with that. And so claps to you uh, for sharing uh, this wonderful idea. And I think we would get more into the details of uh, QTPI. And keeping this in our mind, our nation also have to go advance towards this AI. And as you said, if a person like me who cannot draw, you could make me draw with the help of AI. That is, the AI could sense what I really want to do because I can just do only lines and figures. And I found it so exciting. Uh, and uh, as you said, the four steps, you know, there was a purpose. I wanted to draw something like a fan or something. And it sensed it and it came out. So it was indeed a wonderful uh, session. Uh, I should rather say that if any of my participants want to share their viewpoint on this, you're most welcome. Would anybody want to speak over this? Because I'm so thrilled to uh, hear this session because I myself as an administrator too, we do get to, we are working on the skill lab and uh, robotics lab as well. So this was something very easy and simple that we can share it with our uh, children. So is there anybody who want to share something with respect to this session? Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir, please. I'm Vinay Joseph from uh, Kerala, Puri Good. Actually, it was actually a mind-blowing session, actually. And uh, I've been I've been a part of this all things, A and other things. I've been watching some uh, important uh, things about A, but, uh, Never I got this type of information. So now, there are a lot of things around us in India itself. We doesn't know, actually. Please, you know, please, I want to know, can you, the, the two tools you just mentioned, there are thousands of tools here now. Can we access these tools? Can you please send these type of tools to us? That was a great thing. Then I can... Uh, Give it to my teachers, give it to my teachers, and I can share with them. And it was a big thing, a big thing for our school. We have around more than four schools, great schools in Kerala, and I can share it. And I will be the leader or champion when I show it to others, actually. That's a major thing. I've been visiting for around more than uh, 900 lectures this pandemic time. But I never seen this type of simple things in my lectures. They are talking about huge, huge things that I can't understand as a social science teacher. Please send like my, uh, my address I'm giving to you. And my name is Binoy Joseph. Can you please share these type of tools to me? And if I am being impressing my principal, I surely I will contact you for the more details because we're having around more than 9,000 students for uh, around more than four schools. Can you contact me or can, can I contact you people? And the platform created by these fellows, it's awesome actually. Awesome. And I'm thanking you for this uh, entire thing. And I've been a champion of innovators in my schools, but I really uh, hold my hands to you people and uh, show me these type of opportunities we have. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, definitely, we will. If you fill up the form, we will definitely get in touch with you. We'll share our, these tools with you. You can share it with others. Thank you very much. And can you can you just give me uh, how we can get the Adel Lab in our school? Absolutely, sir. We will contact you personally. We can even give you a demonstration of how you can set up the tool, the Adel Tinkering Lab in your uh, schools. Definitely, we we'll get back to you shortly. Thank you. Yes, uh, what uh, Mr. Binoy uh, said is absolutely true. Whenever we go for an AI class, we get to hear a lot of stuff and it just goes above our head at times. Uh, and then the CBC clearly tells that AI is not just for the computer science teachers or for the uh, physics teachers, but it is just for everybody who can appreciate it. So today, as uh, Mr. Binoy uh, said, 
very rightly uh, you have been able to convey ms joanna in a very simplified version that made it all just be we are spellbound we are so thrilled and excited about it so we thank you so much for that if there is uh, nobody else to ask any questions we can go to the formal uh, vote of thanks would anybody would like to share something more or we say hello, it hello ma'am yes please can you hear me yes sure please go i am vinod uh, from uh, calicut kerala uh, the session was very nice very interesting actually it was a uh, uh, experiential learning now we ex experienced ex experienced actually what was the session this, this one hour uh, is is went very fast anyhow these two things now that two uh, i mean cube draw and uh, auto draw see not explaining much we can easily understand what is this ai so well, I, i'm i'm very happy and also looking forward for such classes thank you ma'am thank you joanna ma'am and who organized this uh, uh, jinam okay thank you thank you so, uh, thank you mr vinod Uh, as you said rightly i do uh, agree to it and we may look forward for more sessions on this simple uh, tools because vidya dan is something uh, is a foundation or uh, we look forward for giving out uh, knowledge as far as uh, possible so we do look forward for uh, more of these kind of a sessions on uh, behalf of uh, vidya dan i would like to extend my heartfelt uh, gratitude to qt uh, pi for being part of this program also i think uh, there was one mr santosh uh, also somebody else also was ms presley if i am right was also sharing the uh, platform so we do uh, thank you for uh, for you for for your consent to share this uh, platform and i'm sure that we would get back to you uh, more for more of these kind of uh, simple sessions which we are extending to make our country a self reliant uh, india i think with this we uh, sign off thank you so much thank you so much to the dear participants for spending your time and for being so involved in all the activities what ms joanna was uh, conveying to us so in fact uh, we can summarize and conclude uh, that this was a wonderful uh, session once more thank you and a clap to you i think all of the participants can give a round of applause on your reactions that would be great to see Yes, yeah, so your emojis are something which we can convey our uh, gratitude. Uh, yes, so Ms. Joanna, please accept our gratitude. Thank you so much, and we sign out.